Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle, and I want to answer a question that we've gotten occasionally about the xylitol in both our tooth powders and also our mouthwashes. So I chose xylitol as the sweetener for a lot of different reasons. Xylitol is actually a naturally occurring sugar alcohol. It's found naturally in fruits and vegetables, so it's something that we're already getting. And the interesting thing about it is it helps to neutralize acids in the mouth because bad bacteria cannot consume it. Basically, they can't use it to then create acid. So you don't get acid buildup in the mouth, which also is very beneficial for tooth decay. If you don't have acid in the mouth, you don't get rapid or even slow progression of cavities. So xylitol is amazing for not creating cavities or not leading to cavities. This is why it's really beneficial when it's in a tooth powder or a mouthwash. Now there are concerns about does it throw off what's called the gut biome? Because again, bacteria can't consume it. And the answer is yes. If you're using xylitol as your sweetener when you're baking cookies or making a cake, something like that, and you're gonna be using a half cup, a cup at a time, then it can be really detrimental. And there have been studies showing that, that when used in large amounts, if you're swallowing it, obviously, if used in large amounts, it can create problems with the gut biome and the way the gut is working. So here's where I want to reassure you. The amount that we're using in the tooth powder and the mouthwash is very, very small. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you're not swallowing the large majority of this. Our research has shown that you're swallowing maybe 10% of it. So you take the small amount and you take just 10% of that and you're down to almost nothing. So I did the calculations. When this study came out about rats having problems eating xylitol, I did the calculations and figured out you would need to eat, like literally swallow the entire thing. You would need to eat 13 jars of tooth powder per day to get the same amount of xylitol they were using in this study that showed problems with rats. So if you're eating 13 jars of tooth powder a day, then absolutely you should be concerned about this. But I'm guessing none of you are. So the very small amounts that are in these products is not going to be of concern because it's not what they were testing when they were doing this research. So again, xylitol is there because it reduces acid load in the mouth, it decreases cavity formation, it makes it taste better when you're using these products, and it's not something we need to worry about at that low concentration.